Hi, I'm Steve Smith from Cultomac.com. So today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak. Now the process is very similar depending on what iOS software you are running. Today I'm going to be using iOS 7.1, but a quick Google search will show you what software you need for your iOS. And before we get started, I just wanted to mention that jailbreaking is completely legal in the States. It's been legal since 2010, even though people have been jailbreaking since 2007. Make sure to check if it's legal in your country, depending on where you are. Now please keep in mind, jailbreaking does void your warranty with Apple, but if you make sure to restore your iOS before you take it to an Apple store, they'll be none the wiser. So with that, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to download Pangu. The link is in the description down below. There's both Windows and Mac versions of the software, so it doesn't matter which operating system your computer is running. Then you need to plug your iOS device in and open up the Pangu app on your Mac or PC. Then double click the Pangu icon to begin to run the app. Once your device is detected by the app, click the start jailbreak button. Pangu will ask you to go to your settings, general, date and time and disable the set automatically toggle. You will then need to set the date to June 2nd, 2014. Once you have the date set, the jailbreak process will begin to start automatically. And eventually, the app on your computer will ask you to open up Pangu on the home screen of your iPhone or iPad. All you need to do is tap the icon to launch the Pangu app and then click continue. Then we have to wait a few minutes as your phone begins to be jailbroken. You'll be asked to unlock your device after it reboots. Once the jailbreak is completed, you will see Cydia on your home screen. This is basically the jailbreak app store where you can customize your iOS device to do all sorts of interesting things. And there you have it. You now have an untethered jailbroken iOS device. Well, there you go. It's really easy to jailbreak your iPhone or iPad if that's something you want to do. Now you can still sync it via iTunes and you can still access the Apple app store. But once jailbroken, you can add themes with packages such as Winterboard and gain much more control over your iPhone or iPad, along with unlocking it from your carrier. Again, a quick online search can show you exactly what to do with that. If you do want to install iOS 8 when it comes out this fall, please keep in mind that it will overwrite your jailbreak. Then, you'll just have to wait till the jailbreak comes available for iOS 8. The only other tip I need to give you regarding jailbreaking is to not pay a penny to get your iPhone or iPad actually jailbroken. It doesn't cost a thing, so if a website's asking for some money, go somewhere else. Well, that's it for this video, but what do you think? Is jailbreaking still needed with the upcoming iOS 8? Or maybe there's a specific reason you want to jailbreak your iPhone or iPad? Let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, if you found this video useful, please click the like button as it really helps us out. And if you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac 7 days a week. I'll see you next time.